Hi, my friends. Sandra from ForYourTree.com. We're here today to do your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for November 1st through November 6th of 2021. Thank you for being here with me. Now, I want to talk to you at this time that I'm recording this video. I have done 10 zodiac forecasts for the month of November and there appears to be a common theme and quite frankly I hope that I'm wrong about this theme um, because it's sort of an alarm for me the majority of the zodiac signs received some kind of warning and especially for the people who are receiving lump sums of money at this time they could be and you're like well Sandra what's a lump sum okay I'm gonna explain it to you they could be settling lawsuits they could be receiving an inheritance uh, cashing out life insurance policies because we are let's face it I've said it a thousand times in the middle of a mass exodus so I'm not talking lottery here although I can't rule it out there is a warning to stash the money away and it doesn't look to me like it's modern ways of saving it looks like it's alternative ways of saving so in other words you don't cash the check and hand it to your bro hand it all to the same broker right you file it away for a rainy day you know some here some here some here some here some here you get what I'm saying so there appears to be this red flag that we need to save money rather than blow it now of course and I said this in the different zodiac sign readings if you have a need right if you have an expense that you cannot avoid your vehicle needs to be repaired you have to make a home repair it can't wait you, you know your refrigerator is broken and it can't be fixed you have to replace it all I'm saying is if I were you I would lean on the conservative side of spending at this time I don't know why I can take a couple of educated guesses as I have in the months and years leading up before today but I think you all get the picture the second thing is Saturn continues to hammer Aquarius because it's in this the sign of Aquarius and if you are saying well I have a friend who isn't an Aquarius that's you know being smeared uh, all across the pavement right now as far as their life and what's happening in their life then I would encourage you to find that person's rising and moon sign because I would guarantee you that there's some kind of uh, Aquarius energy in that chart so if you know any Aquarians reach out to them ask them how they're doing do they need anything that you can offer them that would be of great assistance at this time and that's what we're here to do we're here to help others if we can and that's what I'm doing every single day Monday and Tuesday we are presented with a challenge now some of you may be this card is half lion some of you may be Leo or some of you may feel like you're challenged by a Leo oh the phone agrees what is this about this could be challenging in your romantic life you could feel like you want more romance but it's not coming for some reason and let's see if we can decrease the glare there and we need to work around the situation and try to get a remedy and a solution for it now the card for Wednesday Thursday wisdom this is the card of the teacher you could be um, 
in class, in school, you could be offered some sort of mentorship. You could have a mentor. The noise that you hear in the background is meat searing. That is my husband cooking, and as we know, we do not disturb a man while he's cooking. Oh, going back, we got to go back here. The teacher. As you all know, this card lately means for me that the universe is teaching us some very valu valuable lessons at this time. What is the advice card here from this angel deck? Answers from your angels. There is no need to worry. So this could definitely be a, one of those harsh life lessons. And the information that you learn from this lesson you will put into some sort of action that helps you or helps others or helps both in a year from now. So make sure you are taking mental notes and paper and pen type notes because you will need this information. Card for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, trapped in fear. You are scared to make a move. Now what are we afraid of here? This is definitely some sort of change that needs to happen, and you feel like you cannot do it at this time. When can you do it? They've already answered the question for you. In the near future. Now, in my near future, how I gauge the near future is between now and three months from now. So between now and, say, the first of next year, the first part of next year, before the spring equinox, let's call it, you will be able to move past this, okay, which is great news. All right, thanks for being here with me. I greatly appreciate all of you. I received a whole bunch of messages last night about how I'm going into the future uh, with the channel. I'm making some changes to the channel, not anything I haven't done before. Um, and I'm going to be moving from Vimeo over to Patreon, so I need to figure that out. And I'm going to make a separate video about uh, moving from Vimeo to Patreon and why I'm doing that. I have some very good reasons. So um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for being with me.